Here we have a three foot by six foot solar hot water collector. This is an old one that Tim and I are going to refurbish. So right now it doesn't have the glass on it. The glass is separate. That's sitting over here. And we're going to start off by taking a few screws off on this end here. Remove this piece so that we can get at these header tubes right here. Right now, um, these were cut off of an old building, not by us. Um, it's just how we've got this. So we have to uh, get in here, side around an extension or something. So we'll just uh, start off. We'll just take this apart. Uh, we just uh, kind of took the corners apart where the screws are. You can see the header pipe right here. And it looks like on the one end, they basically had a um, piece of radiator hose with two hose clamps that would go on the end. And then you would stick a screwdriver through here to tighten down the hose clamp connection. So a very inexpensive way of making a coupler, although not necessarily the ideal way. Now, Tim and I are going to very gently uh, lift up the panel guts so we can see what it looks like from underneath here and as we can see it's all copper it actually looks pretty good and those little riser tubes it looks like they're just soldered right onto solid copper sheet so this is probably worth a fair amount as scrap metal but we're gonna put it to a higher use by actually using it as a solar panel so now what we did is we cleaned up the panel as best we can we uh we wiped it down with a, a dish rag and we uh, vacuumed all the dead bugs up out of it. But the uh, since these were cut off of a house, the pipe here is too short. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a female-female union similar to this and we're going to put it on here, solder it on, and then slide that through the frame. So now we're cleaning up the end and then we can use our... Uh, flux and solder to solder this coupler on there like that. Tim, show how nice and clean that end is. Look how pretty and shiny that is. That was uh, black paint on that before. All right, here we are. Ben soldering up the uh, first leg. Let's keep going. Once all the soldering was done, we put the whole manifold back into the frame and then we mounted the glass back on. We were just uh, laid it down real careful and then we attached it with uh, the little clips you use to attach bathroom mirrors to the wall with. So here we can see Tim do that. So here's the basics of this simple single panel solar hot water system. Just to test it out, we're working on this indoors. It's in an upstairs bedroom. For our water storage tank, we've just got a 30 gallon non-insulated tank, but it is a food grade uh, high temperature plastic. And then we've got a hose going from there, from the bottom of the barrel to a 12 volt stainless steel pump. And then that goes into the bottom end, the intake cold end of the solar panel. Uh, the water will go through the one inch pipe. It will divide up into these smaller pipes that go all the way up. And then um, we, the opposite corners, we sealed off that end and it's extra long so that in the future, if we wanna run that out to another panel in parallel, we can cut that end off and we have plenty of uh, copper pipe to solder whatever the heck we want on down there. And on this upper end, we just sealed that off with a permanent cap. So this is the exhaust end up here. And instead of just running it straight to the pipe, we ran from our one inch pipe. We also put a reflective uh, aluminum tape over the top of that rubber so that that's not exposed so the sun doesn't break down. But we go out to, this is a brass T. You can see the, the T right here. Um, and that faces backwards so that when the panel is propped up into that window, um, that part faces towards the room and on that T, we've got a pressure and temperature gauge. So that way, uh, Tim can just come over, look at the panel, look at the gauge, and you know if it says 120 on it or something, we go, wow, we got 120 degree water coming out of the panel, fantastic. And then we'll probably put a 
another uh, thermometer in the barrel or right on the intake end down there. Possibly put a sensor right on the, uh, could put a sensor directly onto the copper on the bottom end so that we know the difference in temperature between the intake end and the outtake end. So we know how much temperature was gained from the water running through the panel from the sunshine shining in the window. Thank <laughs> you.